Hey guys, Shea Bear here. Today, we're going to try to hang this door. See if we can get it put up. But there's a couple things we got to do first. So stick around and I'll show you what we got to do. Okay, so the original door that was on this house, see this house didn't have any doors when she moved in, none. See, it originally had three, uh, three hinges on it. This door has two, and of course, you can see they're backwards, so we gotta take these off. Now, they're not the right height either. See, this door is sitting all the way on the floor, and that's just lining up we can't have that now see someone's had this problem with this one okay which it looks like they've split that and they're screwing it in but it originally had three and someone put two on it okay so that's what I'm gonna put three on this one because I have three but what I'm gonna have to do is take my measurements I'm gonna take them off of that door there and I'm gonna put the hinges on I may just do two that one seems to be working pretty good I may just do two but what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to chisel this out so these can set back in see how flush they are now someone didn't do it with these ones see they just screwed them on there and I don't like that that's probably what split I'm not sure but they didn't uh, they didn't put them flush so let me get my tools and uh, my measuring devices and all that stuff and we're gonna get started on this thing okay guys what I done was I measured the other door and I measured up to the bottom of the hinge oh. all right. and I put my mark there which is one foot so then I took my hinge And I put it right at the bottom of that mark and I marked around there. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my chisel, believe it or not. I've only used this like one time, but it was in the trunk of the car and it must have got moisture. Now I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to chisel this right up around there. Follow my marks. Just like that. Okay. I might have to go a little deeper up here. And it looks pretty good okay now I'm gonna do the same thing up at the top to the top hinge and then we'll make our marks on the door but first I've got to remove these old door these old door hinges so there's kind of what it's gonna look like I may shave that off just a little bit more but that looks about right so we're going to do the same thing up there we want to get our marks off of that one our measurements I mean and then we're going to put do the same thing on this one up here so I'll be back as soon as I get that done I'm just going to do it the same way I did this one okay guys what I've done is I've drilled three pilot holes in here 
and I think that's why that split up there they didn't do that but I did it and what I'm gonna do is it's gonna go like this right Actually, like this okay now I'm gonna take this pin out okay that way when I go to hang it it's gonna be a lot easier so took the pin out and that's going to go right there like that. Now, I'm going to put a couple screws in it. I'm going to drill my pilot holes for the top, which I've already got them drilled. Right down at the bottom. See, there's your head. Go down to the bottom. Get you a punch or something. I'm just using my bit. And you'll see it start coming out there. So. See, it's coming out. Just keep doing that. And it'll loosen up. There it is. And then that'll pull out. Okay? So let's go get this one up here on the top. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of these screws in, then we'll hang this up. Now, I'm not sure how I can do this without getting in your guys' way, but... I'll get that started. I'm going to do the same thing down at the bottom. Just get them started. Then you can tap them in in a second. Can you guys still see that? Now we're going to Get the bottom lined up here. Okay. Now that that's done, we got to change the door handle. The door handle is on backwards. See that? It's on backwards. So let's spin that around. All right, guys. This is what I was talking about. See, that's backwards because the door opens this way. See? That's backwards. So we got to spin this around. And, uh, well, probably just this, but we still got to take this out. So let's do that. It's not very difficult. Just two screws here. I had to, uh, I had one side of that hinge backwards at the bottom, so I had to take it back off the bottom hinge because it wasn't closing. It'd get about to here and it wouldn't close. So, it's easy to get confused when you take them apart, but it's a lot easier to put back up by yourself. If you got two people, it's not so bad, but one person, just remember the way the hinges are. Uh, mark them if you have to. I didn't, but I had a 50 50 chance, right? Now this lock actually had a key at one time, so 
I don't know why it's an inside door. I don't know why they'd have to do that, but they did it. It looks like they had that one a little crooked, but it'll be all right. So let's take this out. All we got to do is flip this around. But in order to do that, of course, you gotta you gotta take the whole knob off. You knob. All we got to do is flip that around like that. Okay, that's it. But we had to take the whole damn knob off to do that, right? But, it's okay. There. Now she'll close. But I don't want to close it just yet. Alright, see it's got a key on it. That's weird. Usually they just got a little hole. That one's got a key too. Hmm. Alright. So. Sorry for my fat head getting in the way. Just like that. Now we're going to. Trying to do this so you guys can see it, but now let's get this. Yes, yeah, it has started. So I may have to adjust the jo the door jam the striker plate for the height so there we go then you just tighten these back up so like I said uh, most doors are generally you know about the same they're they're all pretty much standard but when it comes to doorknobs and stuff you know you get like a standard measurement and you know you're like well okay that's about right but it could be off you know 16th of an inch either way where it won't uh you know it doesn't want to hit the strike plate right now if you're doing a brand new door you know you'll get a perfect because you can just line them up together but this one's close but it looks like I'm still going to have to move the strike plate up just a hair so we'll get on to that next okay and I'll show you what I'm talking about here maybe I don't know if you can see inside there see See, it's a little high. So, let's get that adjusted. Now, it looks to me like someone has lowered this. Looks like, see, it's been lowered. They have probably stripped that out, and that's why they lowered it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this off, and we're going to put it up where it's supposed to be, and that'll be about where our, our door should be. But let's see why they lowered it down like that. I would say because they stripped it out. Now what a lot of people will do is put longer screws in and that'll work. 
sometimes. If it don't, then you may have to get some wooden matchsticks or, you know, trim you off a piece of wood off of something and stick it in there. And that'll keep it, and, you know, glue it if you can, too, and let it set up, and then pre-drill your hole again. No, it's not stripped. All right. Now, let's see if the door will close. I'm going to move you back here. I'm sure the door wasn't locked. There we go. There it is, guys. So now that door should stay wherever you put it. It shouldn't come... Like if I put it there, back all the way. if I put it right there, it shouldn't like gradually come back in or it shouldn't gradually come back open. You know what I mean? Wherever you put that door, that's where it should stay and that's how you know you got everything lined up right. If it moves a little bit, that's okay. But if it just starts closing like that, then it's not a, you know, I mean, once once it gets moved in, see, that's okay because it's new hinges, they'll wear in. But if you get a little bit of movement like that, it's fine. But if it starts going like that, you don't have your hinges right. You don't have it lined up right. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Let's uh, take a look at this. Make sure that we've got the same amount of gap all the way up and around there. And we do. Now that looks a little tight there down at the bottom, but uh, I'm not real concerned with that. So, I mean, this house is not, you know, there ain't no house that's straight. So you open it up and it should stop wherever you put that door. Just like that. There's Monkey's Project. I don't want to show you too much of that, but there you go. And the lock works. Now, there you go. Let me um, get you back here a little bit. And there's the door. All I got to do is put the trim up. I think it was taken off when they did the floor. I don't know why it wasn't put back on, but it wasn't. I'm not sure where it is, it may be in the garage, but there you go. Alright, so when Kim and Will come and stay with us, there you guys go. You got a locking door. And it'll be painted by them too. Alright guys, so there you go. So guys, it's not that hard. Just uh, the, um, that, that comes with instructions when you buy the new hinges, so if you've never done it before, read them close, okay? Um, in fact, watch this video or find some more on YouTube. They're all over the place on how to do this. It's fairly simple. Um, really, you need a Phillips screwdriver and a chisel. You know what I mean? So, maybe a hammer to tap them pins out, depending on how you want to do it. So there you go, guys. Uh, thanks again. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helped somebody. I know the camera work wasn't that great, but hopefully you get the idea of pre-drilling them holes and stuff like that. Always do that because if not, you'll get you'll get a split like that. I think that's what happened because like I said, they didn't even chisel that out. They just put it right over top of it. So, but we did it the right way. All right, guys. I'm going to get off here and we'll chat at you soon. All right. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.